This is News 8. It has been one year since Dia Abrams, a former La Jolla resident, went missing from her multi-million dollar ranch near Idlewild. Welcome back. I'm Marcella Lee and for Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the missing woman's family. His aides David Gofferson sat down with Dia Abrams' son at his home in La Jolla. Here's my mother when I was just born, and there's my sister. Looking through a family photo album brings back memories for Clinton Abrams, the son of millionaire Dia Abrams, who mysteriously went missing one year ago from her 117-acre ranch near Idlewild. The 31-year-old visited his mom on her ranch in 2018. Uh, what do you want people to know about your mom? I want people to know that she was the kindest, gentlest, soft-hearted person that you can imagine. She was always giving of herself. Abrams was the wife of La Jolla developer Clem Abrams. The couple had two grown children, but they were living separately when Clem Abrams died in 2018. Dia Abrams lived on the sprawling Bonita Vista Ranch. She was a lover of animals. She's always taking in any, any animal, anybody or anything that really needed help. Abrams went missing last year on Saturday, June 6th. That morning, the 65-year-old paid a visit to a next-door neighbor. She woke up early, baked cinnamon rolls, and delivered them to her good neighbor. The last person to see Abrams alive around 2.30 in the afternoon was Keith Harper, a ranch hand who lived on the property who also claims to be Abrams' fiancé. What can you tell me about Keith Harper uh, being her fiancé? It's definitely not the case. I know my mother. She was not engaged. She would not remarry. On Sunday, June 7th, neighbors fanned out across the ranch on foot and on horseback, but they found no trace of Abrams. She had left her truck, purse, and cell phone behind. Her son drove up from La Jolla and arrived Sunday night when he says he met Keith Harper for the first time. He was very shifty, reluctantly speaking, kept stating he had meetings and he couldn't be there. He left the following morning. At 8.30 a.m. Monday, Harper packed up and left the ranch driving his RV to New Mexico. It's unsettling to me that on the morning that the search and rescue team arrived and the homicide unit arrived, Harper was not there. He had fled. The Riverside Mountain Rescue Unit searched the ranch for two days using dogs and found nothing. And investigators soon discovered Abrams had transferred her properties into a trust two weeks before she went missing. The beneficiaries of that trust, Keith Harper and a neighbor named Diana Fetter. It's been the absolute most nightmarish, difficult, soul draining experience of our entire lives. There's no question about that. Clinton Abrams and his sister Kassara had also been written out of their mother's restated trust in a partially handwritten clause that read, quote, Trust store leaves nothing but her love and affection to her son, Clinton Abrams, and daughter, Chris Sara Abrams. Do you think your mom didn't want you to have the ranch? No, I don't think that at all. She always said this is for the kids. Always, a thousand times over. Clinton and his sister are now challenging the trust in court. They want Harper removed as trustee of the ranch. I believe it was ill-gotten and with malintention and my concerns are that her stuff is being pilfered and taken and, and stolen. In April, the attorney who drew up Dia's trust told News 8, quote, Dia did the trust. She knew what she was doing. The document speaks for itself, so we think that her wishes should be honored. Meanwhile, Dia Abrams' son can't help but think the worst. I believe she was murdered, and uh, we need to find her for her soul to rest in peace. Clinton Abrams told me he did this interview after a year of his mother being missing because he believes now that the case has stalled. And he truly believes someone has information out there that can help his family find his mother's body. If you have any information, call the Riverside, Riverside County Sheriff's Department. Carla? David, what's going on with Keith Harper now and has he responded to any of this? Keith Harper is still living on the ranch, according to neighbors, and he's acting as trustee. We reached out to him for comment, but we did not hear back. 
The next court hearing is set for July in Riverside Probate Court. And David Gofferson reporting live. Just this mystery continues to unravel and gives us all these new layers. Thanks, David.